Hi, I'm Rival and welcome to part two of this Agile Scrum training series as titled Roles, Artifacts and Meetings. So here's the list of what we're covering in this Scrum training series. We have already covered what is Scrum, now we're on part two. So Scrum structure. So Scrum is made up of roles, artifacts and meetings. Let's first discuss roles. So we have a product owner, a scrum development team, and a scrum master. The product owner is responsible for the product vision. He is responsible for ROI, and he's responsible for prioritizing the product backlog. He has the final say on product requirements. People speak to him about updates and features that he can then add into the product backlog, and he decides when to ship an increment. The development team. The development team consists of team members with different skill sets. We can have developers, designers, QA testers, so a range of skills. Um, th this team needs to be self-organizing. This team works on the product increments on a daily basis. They try to build a shippable product increment to be shipped at the end of each sprint and they collaborate on a daily basis. The Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is not a project manager and does not have authority over the development team. The role of the Scrum Master is to protect the development team from interference from other people in the company that keep wanting to add features to the sprint. The, the Scrum Master acts as a middleman that says, hold on, that, just leave him for now. Um, we can deal with that, you know, we can speak to the product owner, etc. cetera. Um, the, product, uh, the Scrum Master also manages meetings. So if people are talking about irrelevant things in the meeting, they, if the Scrum Master tries to bring the meeting back and says, look, uh, we can. That's a good point, but we can discuss that in a different meeting. Right now, we let's say only discussing sprint planning. Um, the Scrum Master needs to know pretty much as much as anyone can know about Scrum. They aid team members with Scrum knowledge. Though artifacts, we have two artifacts in Scrum. We have pro a product backlog and a sprint backlog. So let's discuss the product backlog. The product backlog contains a list of features, bugs, or small changes that could ever be done to the product. So it's just essentially a long list of items that, um, like I mentioned before, are prioritized by the product owner, but it's a whole list of items that we would ever work on on the product. So these items are referred to as PBIs or product backlog items. Anyone can add to the product backlog. But like I just said, it's the product owner who priori prioritizes the items in the backlog to decide which gets done first. So let's discuss the sprint backlog. The sprint backlog contains a list of features, bugs, and small changes as well. But the main difference here is these items are only for the current sprint. And this list or this um, sprint backlog is created in the sprint planning meeting. So meetings, we have the backlog refinement meeting, the sprint planning meeting, a daily scrum meeting, sprint review meeting, and a sprint retrospective meeting. Now I know these are, you know, just words to you right now, but in, as this training series goes on, we're going to have a dedicated video for each one to make you fully understand what needs to go on in these meetings and what are the point of each of these meetings. And here's just a, a sample calendar for you. And this is a two week sprint. And this is what it would look like in terms of meetings. So on, on, of meetings. So on a Monday, we'll have sprint planning meeting. Um, every day after that, we will have daily scrum meetings. Uh, maybe on a Wednesday, you can have your backlog refinement meeting. And on Friday, you can have a sprint review, sprint retrospective. Now, I do understand that this may be a little bit weird just looking at these words. But at the end of the series, you will fully understand what each mean. 
and I'll show this uh, calendar to you at the end and you know it's pretty much a good calendar for a two-week sprint so when you look at it again at the end of this training series it'll make a lot more sense to you and that's all for this video guys uh, thanks for watching please make sure you follow on the series uh, get a complete understanding of everything uh, scrum related and you will be better off please like and subscribe below if you have any comments or any questions just shove them in the comments below thanks